Hey everyone, I'm taking a walk in suburban uh, Bellevue and when I looked at the sidewalk with the different color tiles it immediately reminded me of the game Blocus because I had just recently started playing it and I started programming it as well. Uh, so Blocus is now my 15th game that I'm entering into the Computer Olympiad. Uh, I hope to enter it in uh, this, this summer. I hope to have the four, uh, the four player version as well. But uh, I'm a big fan of the Tetris effect because I find it helps me a lot with uh, uh, visualizing whatever I'm doing because, um, you know, when you're casually thinking about something, when you're casually thinking about something, that's when you typically tend to think outside of the box. Um, when I was a kid and I started to learn how to play chess, one of my favorite things to do every time I saw tiles like this was to try to move like a knight. So I would stand here and then I would jump to this guy and then I would look at a knight's move from that and then over here. And it drove everybody crazy. We had a room like this in our school, my elementary school, and it drove everybody everybody crazy, the knight walk. Actually, um, my classmate said it was a horse. Uh, he, he, he would say that I'm doing the horse walk again. Um, but it helps. Because, um, you know, when I'm in the classroom, I'm not really thinking about chess all that much. I'm thinking about my school materials. And then all of a sudden, a chess concept that I had a hard time with will suddenly call my name and then it will, it will, it will stick. Um, when I was first learning how to program machine learning, neural networks, I had a hard time grasping the concept. But one night before bed, I was watching a documentary about the planet Jupiter. And uh, when I went to sleep... Let's see if we can see Jupiter anywhere. It's very cloudy right now, so... Earlier this week, uh, Venus was very bright. Very low in the sky. Anyway, so in my dream, I dreamt that I was flying around Jupiter in the cloud tops of Jupiter. Some kind of airship. And we were looking for life on Jupiter. And the ship was connected to this neural network. And all of a sudden, alarms started to sound that there was life somewhere. And when I looked, it was because of the cloud formation. It looked like a it looked like a baby of some sort, and um, I looked at the neural network and how it uh, the parameters in there recognized that baby's image and how it got uh, the feed forward network and and how and then after we realized it wasn't life, uh, we had to learn that that was not life on Jupiter, and so that the numbers flowed back into the machine. And when I woke up, oh my God! All of a sudden, I understand neural networks. And um, one of the first things I ever programmed with, with neural networks was tic-tac-toe. And that Jupiter uh, image really gave me a, a head start with, uh, with picking up the concept. So um, I encourage you to, to try, to, when you're trying to learn something, try to keep it in the back of your mind and carry it with you as you go about your everyday life. You never know when it might call your name.